forgive me for my sins. I was traumatized. Seeking revenge had me out committing homicides. This video was sponsored by Mitchell Law Firm. If you have a record or you happen to know somebody who has a record and that record is hindering or impeding the quality of employment they're able to obtain, I strongly suggest you seek the law services of Farrah Mitchell. Miss Mitchell is a criminal law attorney who specializes in record expungement. Her services are nationwide, meaning regardless of whatever state you may have been convicted in, she still may be able to help. She also offers various other legal services at an extremely reasonable rate. She can be contacted at 980-329-7568. So once again, I strongly suggest you contact her, get your record expunged, and get your life back in order. So today we're discussing what I call Generation Game Goofy. And what I mean by that is a lot of these dudes in the streets nowadays, they act and move as if they goofy and they've never been provided any game. You know, game is just knowledge, information about how to how to move smarter, you know, because let's keep it 100. Right. If we out here in the streets and it's already bad enough that we do an illegal activity, we don't want to put ourselves on front street, which I see a lot of these dudes doing, making social media posts about their illegal activities. So let's check this video out. Bear County Sheriff's Office has released these photos. 17-year-old David Anakin Guetta and 21-year-old Ezra Sebastian Guetta are facing several charges. Investigators say the post led to a traffic stop Tuesday where the two were found with a loaded handgun, cash, and hash oil. Deputies later found more guns, drugs, and $15,000 in cash at a home on Raywood. Come on, y'all. By now, we gots to know that the police are watching all these social media posts. You know, they got, they got certain cops assigned just for the particular task of watching social media now. And I don't understand how a dude could just go on social media, put all his business on there for the world to see, and think that it may not come back to haunt him. Then when he gets arrested, one of the first things he wants to holler is, damn, man, somebody snitched on me. Somebody told on me. Yeah, somebody told on you, all right. You told on you, you stupid. I don't know what's going on with these dudes, you know. They don't seem to get it, man. You cannot go on these social media sites and post about how you drug selling, how you uh, carrying guns, how you doing all that type of stuff. To me, the stuff makes no sense, man. You know, it's already bad enough to be in the street doing things that are illegal and could land you in prison for a long, long time. But then just to post it and give people alerts, to me, it's just insane. It's ludicrous, you know. And not only do we have to be mindful that the police are watching, there are also people watching who may want to do us harm. You know, our enemies, our ops, and sometimes, in some cases, and it's sad, but it's true, some are our own homies. You know, if you happen to put your homies up on what you're doing or how much money that you have or the guns and stuff that you have, or the stuff that you have. Some people become jealous, some people become envious, and then they start plotting on the things that you have, you know. You're on your social media sites posting tons of cash or that somebody can get and go flip. Uh, you know, for somebody that's out there hungry and thirsty, that's definitely a come up, you know. You always got people lurking. Let's check this clip out right here. All you gotta do is hit that back there. Them niggas be laughing too hard. Them blues gonna be mine. Look at all them blues. Y'all see, I know the house set, right? Now, for those of you guys who may not know, man, that was the very infamous King Von. Many people around him and King Von himself admitted that he was a demon and he would do that to you if he caught you slipping. So what you saw was a video of him sitting outside of somebody's house or in close proximity to somebody's house while they was flashing money. And you hear him say, man, look at all in blues. So you never know exactly who's watching these lives, these social media posts, while you posting all these things, you know. One day you posting, you flashing all this cash. Next thing you know, you might be having your door kicked in. Somebody's coming to rob you. And so you also have to keep in mind that whoever you're living with, whether it's your mother, your wife, your kids, um, whoever, you know, you're putting your family at harm's way as well because when these people come in the door and they kick this door in to get this bag, you know, they're going to do what they have to do to get up out of there with the bag, you know. So we definitely got to keep that in mind. Another thing that I find extremely game goofy is going on these social media sites, arguing with your ops, arguing with whoever you consider your enemy. Let's check this out right here. 
That's money, dog. Yeah. I'm scary in these streets, dog. We all put a bag. Hey, yo, I got, I got, I got 10 bands. Anybody collect? Anybody, anybody? Give me K Flocker's chain. Yo, give me K Flocker's chain. I'll give you 10K. 10K on your head now, doofy. Bro, we all put a bag on your head, too. Yo, the bag is on your head. You a green light. You a green light, dog. You a green light. Uh, on everything. Yeah. Come to one take the M60 to 105th, and you, my Gracie guys, is gonna go in. Come to Ravenswood. Come to Marlboro. Come, come outside. Man. Come outside. Come outside, Man. dog. Bro, if you give me an Addy, Man. I promise to God, by the end of the day, you're gonna be on a shirt, dog. We're gonna Shut put up. you on a shirt. I'm gonna light a, a candle Shut for up. your dad, and I'm gonna kick the candle like I'm David oh. Akers, dog. Yo, I'll get a bat up here right now that'll line you right now. You want to see how you're gonna go out this earth? You want to see how you will go yeah. out this earth? Yeah, yeah. You want to see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Set him up. Set him up to wet him up. Yeah, yeah. Twenty bands. Twenty bands. We're gonna cut his head off. Yeah. Now, in my opinion, that was game goofiness at the highest level of goofstivity. Did you see that crazy dude on there, man? So that dude literally goes on his social media. He's arguing with this dude, and the dude is only talking about, "Hey, man, I put twenty thousand dollars on your head. I have somebody rob you. I have somebody kill you." You know, that's just crazy. That's just crazy, you know. Now, say that dude that he was arguing with, say in a day or two, that dude is into it with other people as well, and somebody else comes and kills him, right? Of course, this particular dude is going to be one of the first dudes looked at. They're going to look at him long and hard because you are on uh, a social media site threatening somebody's life for the world to see. Then all of a sudden, you know, he got the girl on there talking about the girl that set him up. Um, a portion of the video, the lady goes on to, uh, to goes on to flash her breast. You know, of course, I can't show that to you. I know it's a lot of y'all out there wishing I could, but I can't show nothing like that. YouTube won't let that video out. Now, in the event, you know, the police know who that lady is, right? They go to her uh, in the event they can find her. They get a hold of her. You know, one of the first things they're going to do is threaten about taking away her freedom. If she happens to have any kids, they're going to threaten taking away her kids because that's a game that the police love to play with women because they know that something that is very near and dear to women, of course, are their children. You know, the cops play dirty. They'll come around Christmas time. They'll come a day or two before your kid's birthday. And they do all this in a attempt to try to make these women talk and give up information, you know. And so for the dude to go in there and do that, to me, that's just literally crazy, you know. We have to keep in mind, man, that in the event we happen to get arrested for any type of crime in this day and age, the police is going to scour social media. They're going to go to all social media sites looking for anything they can use as evidence in a in a court proceeding against you to make you look guilty. I happened to see one episode on YouTube where these two dudes was arguing back and forth on Facebook. One dude talking about, you know, when I come back to town, I'm going to get you. You know, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to get you. Don't call the police. Later on, a shooting occurred. And the dude who was talking about, I'm going to pull up, don't call the police, he was charged with shooting. Now, whether he actually did or he didn't shoot the person that the police accused of being shot by him, of course, they went to his uh, his social media sites. They used all that stuff, you know, to try to make him look bad. And he was eventually convicted. We got to keep in mind that the police do not play fair. The police, in the event they happen to have any inkling that you are a criminal, you are a gang member, some type of street thug, they're not in the business of playing fair. It's going to be their job to try to make you look as bad as possible. A lot of people want to believe the things that they see on TV, like your trial is going to be fair. It's going to be honest. No, um, the district attorney, the police department, they lie, they play games, and they do anything to get a conviction. So we definitely have to keep that in mind, and we have to stop putting uh, incriminating stuff on social media. Now, this next video is something that was widely circulated on social media. Uh, you have this dude by the name of Hancho De Niro, who I believe stayed in Birmingham, Alabama, happens to go live on Facebook while he's arguing with somebody and gets into a shootout. Let's check a little of that video out right there. Dude, y'all wanna see a shootout? Y'all from the highway? Too dumb. Oh God, I'm a dumb they call down. Oh God. Oh God. Nigga, why I'm beefing with love? Because of, because of them? Nigga, why I'm beefing with Central Park? Because of them? Everybody on Facebook, no hunch, ain't no hope. Everybody on Facebook, no hunch, so steady. Everybody on Facebook, no hunch, so soon. Who this is? I'm glad I'm shooting. Oh. Because you mad because I said you ain't gang? You ain't gang if you ain't hanging around me and sitting in Ray Ray? Now, I don't necessarily know 
whatever happened to him behind that particular situation right there. But eventually he regained his freedom. So you see him on the bed and it appears that he's in some type of motel room and he's flashing a large sum of cash. Later on, at some point in his life, he came up missing. He was missing for about four days and then he was finally discovered dead out in a wooded area. Now, um, automatically one of the first things that, that came to mind, you know, me being a dude who was in the street at one particular time, you guys see him on live, you know, he's arguing with uh, whoever he was arguing with and at some point in time, he starts shooting, right? And so, um, you know, then at some point in that video, he was naming off who all he was beefing with and he wasn't going to beef with them no more because of some dudes who he felt didn't live up to a certain type of um, gang standard, right? So I say all that to say, it seemed to me, right, that he had a lot of beef and so he would only be around, and this is just my opinion, right, he would only trust and be around certain individuals because when you beefing like that, you definitely have to be cautious about who you can trust. And though I'm not familiar with the city that he was from, Birmingham, Alabama, one thing that I do know is when a person is out there, you beefing, you running around in the streets, it is a very small community, right? Um, all the gangbangers, everybody that's out there doing whatever, they pretty much know who's who, right? And so I'm saying all this to say that it seems like a person in that type of environment would be extremely selective and cautious about who he led around him and whose presence he was in. And so just in my opinion, uh, once he was found later on killed in the woods, to me, it obviously had to be by somebody that he knew and somebody that he trusted. Because once again, when you out there, you doing things like that, you're not just to just um, put your life in the hands of anybody. And it's sad but true that sometimes, you know, some people who you believe are friends or people that you believe you can trust also um, become envious or jealous of the things that you had. So the moral of the story is, man, uh, stay safe, leave those streets alone, and of course, Stop putting your business out there on social media. You already know who it is. It's your boy 16 to life. Resume normal program. And rest in peace, Honcho De Niro.